So this horse has got equine recurrent airway obstruction, or RAO. It used to be called heaves, and really is just a type of equine asthma. As you can see here, the flank is moving really quite forcefully. So the horse is trying to force the air out of its lungs, and he's having to do that by using his belly muscles to actually force the air out. When you listen to the lungs themselves, there'll be an awful lot of wheezes and crackles, as in they're completely abnormal. A horse who's having to breathe like this is using up an awful lot of energy, as well as it being quite a distressing condition. So we really need to try and get this breathing under control. And the reason the horse is breathing like this is because the airways have constricted. So instead of being uh, large like this, when they've got RAO, these airways constrict down because of an allergy. What we need to do is try and give a drug to increase the dilation of the, what are known as bronchioles, so the small uh, tubes that are contained within the lungs themselves. And we use something called a Flexineb for this. This is an extremely useful bit of equipment. Here, this um, piece of equipment fits right the way around the, no the nose, which seals the nose completely. This means that the horse will then breathe through this tube here. Contained in here, we can put various different medications depending on what we think is best for the horse. The horses tolerate this extremely well. Gently place this over the nose. The most difficult part is putting under the lower uh, chin. So you've got to get the chin in first. Tighten up the strap. And now the horse is breathing everything through here. There was a one-way valve at the bottom here. So he's breathing in through here, and then he is able to breathe out through the valve. This allows perfect delivery of all of the drugs, so we know he's getting everything that he needs. If you find that the horse resents this, and certainly when you first use this, you open up the bottom, and now the horse can breathe perfectly normally. Once all of this liquid has been used, you can then stop the medication. An alternative to the nebulizer is using a paediatric spacer. This is much, much cheaper. However, it can be quite fiddly. This is it put together, ready assembled. Before you use it though, you have to wash it in um, detergent and let it drip dry. Otherwise, static electricity builds up within the spacer and we need to press the actuator or the puffer. The drug sticks to the side of the spacer and therefore no drug gets into the horse. If I rattle that, you can hear there's a valve, so that is very important. What you then do is on the right side of the horse, if you're right-handed, place the spacer over the nostril. You can then see and hear the valve, so you know when the horse is breathing in. If the horse tolerates this very well, what you can then do is lean over and gently obstruct the other nostril. Once the horse is happy, you can then do an actuation. Wait, make sure that they're breathing, and do another one, and repeat as necessary.